Yeah, so having tried the uh, amazing build of Hungering Arrow resets with uh, Caltrops, I can honestly say that Caltrops on Vala at level 1 is a super mega duper crap talent. It's craptastic. It's booby, guys. It's booby, poilk, shrimpy, and stable, and crusher ninety nine. Lots of decent players. What's in the name? Finally. Finally. Greetings, friend. Drinking tea from this 10 year anniversary stain is nice and all, but boy, it's really heavy. Oh, so heavy and epic. Well, so be it. I serve. Greetings, friend. Italian dude says hi, D. Uh, buongiorno. Night time. All right, I'm going for a low key cup now. Zeratul, Zeratul. I stand ready. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I'll play Meridian or or Tassadar. We'll see what they ban. Oh. Maybe I should play uh, an assassin. Okay, I'll play Marilyn. Ready for action. Samuro's open. You think I should take Samuro with Zeratul Tracer? What about team fight prisons? Kirva. It's about damn time. Ready for action. What if he says ready for axing? Would it really matter? Action or axing? Triple team fight presence with Samuro. I suppose so. Did you hear of interview about updating Arthur's and Brightwing's models? No, I didn't hear about that. Nice. I hope they can shrink Arthas's neck. Will not be he is such denied. a giraffe. I will fight to my last breath. Check new Skullcracker. Wait, new Skullcracker? Wasn't it like... Uh... Wait, what was it? I forgot. Let me check. Patch notes. Skullcracker got buffed. His health got buffed, strangely enough. Ironforge momentum got nerfed and heavy impact got nerfed. Uh, Muradin. Now passively increases Muradin's attack speed by 25%. <laughs> Should we do it? But it's every third consecutive attack, isn't it? Let me read. Heroes. Successive basic attacks. 
crowd control got buffed. I think crowd control's the one to take now. Can clear a whole wave, especially on Infernal Shrines. But not a lot of team fights are actually in wave. So, I don't know. I'm coming through. Five, four, three. What is this and how do you fight with it? One. Fight. I would get perfect storm, I think. Yeah. It's free mana from wave. Uh, me, Adam. Wave 7, 7 times 15, 35. It's not free mana. It's free mana from two waves. That's more like it. Thank you. I can top, okay. Right on. Tag is at bottom. Ah! Ah! <laughs> What's in the name? Yeah, Murden changed a lot. It's nearly time. <laughs> if he says it, I believe it. <laughs> That's more like it. Go forth and claim the altars in my name. The Raven Lord demands it. Can't stop it again. In the fall, Raven Lord. Because Tag is there. They're gonna get four. Keeper, like all the others. I can't steal this anyway, so I'll just... If only I had that new and improved crowd control! Should I? Nah. Not yet. Not on this battleground. Maybe on Infernal, a bunch of other maps, Tomb of the Spider Queen, but not here. What's in the name? What's in the bolt? Yeah, I think Fnatic just ended their practice session of four to eight hours a day. And then they play some Hero League. I think they're doing camp. Yeah, they're doing camp. Three bots. nice when you force right wing out. You always want them to teleport. So that they can't do that later. And that really made up for the XP. Great job. Now Skullcracker, I don't think so. Piercing Bolt is better now. Because Iron Forge no longer helps for a Dwarf Toss. I nearly killed Wooby. You've been training! 
Especially with uh, Piercing Bolt. Definitely. I mean, especially with uh, Perfect Storm, you would want Piercing now. Yeah, okay, so we probably can't steal this. We got our own, it's fine. Okay, Zeratul said he can do top, so I'm just gonna leave it to him. Actually, Murden, yeah, he did get nerfed, but he got buffed as well. The health thing is pretty crazy. They're all missing. Close. Good job, undead. A good heal there. Everyone is missing. I should check places. That's more like it. I could be against four here. Three missing, and we have no idea where. There they are. Four bot. Let's get it on. At least we were careful. Ah! I think Vala just used all abilities. Could be good for Tracy. Greetings, friend. Jeez, there these months fly by. Great performance at BlizzCon. Thank you very much, Kuska. Missing some lane soap. Oh, they're all missing. Two temples, everyone's level 10. Gonna get Avatar. Go for Alarak. <laughs> How did I miss that ball? Enjoying the stream. When's the next W3 marathon? Saturday. Thank you very much, Speedy. Nice job. Let's get this globe. Yeah! Oh, we got it? Nice. Are there any heroes you would say are not viable in Hero League solo queue? I mean, everything works. But there's a few I wouldn't try Hero League solo queue, but I can't think of it from the top of my head. Uh, yeah, like, probably Arthas is not a great idea, Hero League solo queue. I'm just gonna go get some mana. What's the number under your mana bar? That's how many storm bolts hit. That's more like it. Uh, and multiplied by five, and that's how much bonus damage I do with it. Mm. 
still healing static. I have a lot less thunderclaps, but I did get thunderburn. I guess it's still good. Just get healing static. Greetings, friend. Let's they expect get me here now, so they're gonna use abilities here. Man. Damn, I should have thunderclap first. Be swift, hero. We already capped. From me. I don't mind jumping in, but not without Tracer here. We'll be the god! Uh, we're 4vx. Let's get it on! Now it's 3v4, so we leave. Yeah, I always don't do enough camps on Towers of Doom, but I don't have the hero for it right now. One thing that really impressed me of pro play on Towers of Doom was the constant taking of Goblin Sappers, whereas in Hero League people largely discount them. They're all missing. I don't see anyone mid, top or bot around the camp. Let's just do it this time. Okay, right when you Z is great. What does he have? Hyper shift. So he can use it again in like 40 seconds. That's more like it. Yes, slay them in my name. Who's next? I have opened a tunnel on our core to feed to the back of Brown's center. It isn't well right on. What? I mean, try. I stop me. that. I've opened uh, my tunnel. So, heal. SS means stay safe? I guess so. Oh, maybe. I thought it was the middle two letters of missing. Either way, it signifies the same thing. The altars are rising. Um, do I still get heavy impact? Oh, that was close. I still think heavy impact probably. Give him the axe. You, maybe you want Skullcracker with that. I could go imposing or stone form. That was my first death and it was unnecessary. I should have thunderclapped earlier. I died because I didn't leave a thunderclap to zone away followers, pursuance, and I overstayed. I think I'll just get heavy impact still. It's definitely worse than before. Oh, that was so close. Greetings, friends. No, I think we can't take it. Oh, that was so close. We can probably buy enough time or not. I'm afraid of Alarak. Greetings, friend. Horrifier is gonna wreck us. Oh, Odin is doing a nice number on them, even though I'm missing all my abilities. Oh wow, nice. Luckily, I actually started the jump even as I got silenced. Hey, Phyto, thank you for subbing, dude. Yeah, we can fight now, two level lead. They used a bunch of abilities. Turtles back. Where do we fight though? And what do we fight for? We're almost 16. Let's do this. How can I still jump when he silences me? Isn't that... I mean... Shouldn't it... Shouldn't I forget how to 
continue my jump, or is it just sheer momentum? Johanna's following me. That's fine. Try and stop me. Where is your backup now? Yes, the balance patch is live. Without Avatar, I'm not keen to use heavy impact. In fact, I have not really been using it. That's more like it. One temple. A good heal. They're gonna get stunned like right after the VP. <laughs> That's sick. No, it actually interrupted me. It cancelled my stun. Nice. Uh, Odin kills are so satisfying. Oh, nice. Quack kill. Thunderclap hit, even though the other two didn't. They're all dead, so... If I die here... Okay. 16-16 though, like the hero levels are good, but not enough cannonballs. We can probably do boss if we want, or sappers. Sappers probably more guaranteed. No, they're coming back. That's more no. like it. Can't do boss anymore either. I've got the ugly one. I'm coming through. Mm. They're all bots, so we just push here then. Tychus has the right idea. Still three bots. This gives us level 20. Ah. At range. Avatar duration. Disable reduction. Nah, I'll get hardened shield. Or rewind even. I get rewind. I've been pretty survivable. Wait, I have rewind, right? No. Oh. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> that health buff. What just happened? Not too keen to push this lane because it actually gives them more XP as your minions will then reach them in a more safe location. But I would like the idea of some uh, siege damage. I very nearly got myself killed there in that bottom engagement. Hey, thank you, I cut you bad. Ah, uh, Merlin is amazing at camps, man. Jeez, look at that. There we go. Alright, they're gonna be level 20. Gonna go through this. Go for this one. Go 
Are they doing boss? They could just be sneaking boss for bonus. Yeah, they're doing they're doing boss for bonus damages. I have my finger over the avatar. They're not doing boss. We should capture this mercenary camp. And go down this bottom, it's gay. Two bots. That's percentage damage, in case you didn't know. That's the only thing that can kill Muradin. Scary! They're down to two! Nice Nomi Stormbolt. <laughs> You've been training. You've been training. Heavy impact is still good. You've been training. Man, that's fun. Let's get on. This red. Hodor. Did you guys know that Hodor actually DJs at BlizzCon? Like, the guy who's who's Hodor actually DJed at BlizzCon. I forgot his real name, but yeah. Can you show build? Yeah, it was kind of improvisation from his recent patch changes. Perfect Storm has been trending for a long time. I always liked it the best. For Muradin, because he's already very survivable, doesn't Greetings, really need block. Friend. Hey grubby buddy, a little something something for the super quality content. Thank you very much, Halogen. Uh, yeah, I already like this one, because Muradin is already the most survivable. Uh, this one, I still just kept it the same, for the zoning potential and synergy with healing static, which I still think is the best. I mean, his health went up, so healing static basically got a buff. So this one is unchanged. Uh, except no more iron forge momentum for uh dwarf toss so that makes it a little bit less interesting if you still go for iron forged you could say dwarf toss is nerfed as well as heavy impact you could still have the same thunderclap healing value like you can be very survivable with mira with block reverb iron forged healing static avatar more than before except not as many dwarf tosses but i decided to go with piercing ball to synergize from with uh, perfect storm as piercing bolt is better than bolt with ironforged but you got ironforged because it was so good with uh, the clap and the dwarf toss now uh, half of that is gone with the patch no more dwarf toss ironforged momentum cdr avatar because i'm solo tank heavy impact got nerfed by a quarter second but i still went for it because uh, i still think it's good and then rewind because i didn't die too often you can get Hardened Shield. You should probably never get Unstoppable Force, the upgrade of Avatar. It's pretty nice, but the cool thing about Rewind or Hardened Shield is it gives you a separately usable cooldown. Whereas Unstoppable Force is all embedded in this one really long cooldown. I'd like to try out Skull Cracker with uh, Give Him the Axe. Maybe if I can play Mura again.
Uh, any theory crafting yet on giving the axe and skullcracker? I mean, it's good. It's really good. I want to try it. It's just that skullcracker's stun functionality is lackluster, but it does give you uh, it does give you procs for heavy input. Uh, sorry for for giving the axe. So that's pretty cool. I might just play Murden again. I should put him in my list of favorites. Gilneas will Which one will I not play as again. much? Greymane, probably. Let's add Murden to the list. There we go. Skullcracker doesn't proc given the axe as a stun lance after the AA. Yeah, but I read the, the new the, uh, the new executioner. For three seconds. Oh, wait. Attacking a hero that is slowed, rooted, or stunned increases your basic attack damage. Hey, this is denied. different than Executioner, isn't it? Oh. Wait. Am I... I thought when you hit someone who has been stunned or rooted in the last three seconds, you get Executioner proc. Let me see. Oh. Okay. Oh, good call, uh, Zelmix. I stand corrected. You're right. So Skullcracker doesn't do anything for give him the axe, but of course Reverberation and Stormbolt do. Oh shit, Sonya. Oh, nice. Woo! Okay. Getting Sylvanas was the way out of that.